Diane in Denmark here. So here is your official invitation to join us for a five day retreat. Now, it's kind of silly to be calling it a retreat because retreat is kind of, you know, to retreat back into your shell or something like that. But the aim of this is, is to focus on yourself for the week. What we're going to be doing is we're just going to be being nice to ourselves. We're going to be doing some missions. We're let's treat it like a kind of staycation and maybe a restart maybe you need a restart now as always we, we need to kind of plan ahead for our for our retreat so I'm going to give you a few um, a few ideas of what, what you might like to bring along with you remember don't pack too much we don't want to be overpacked for our for our retreat but you know I like to have these little notebooks uh, lying around everywhere so if, <coughs> It's a really good idea to take a notebook and a pencil. You don't need to go out and buy anything fancy. Just use what you have. You know, the kids have probably got some old school school no notebooks lying around. Use that. If you've uh, worked on, on a control journal, hopefully you've already done that, get your control journal out and just add a few extra sheets of paper because that will be a great place to start for you because um, apart from the notebook, where you're going to jot down some ideas and hopefully we'll be able to get some ideas from each other. I'll reveal all um, for the actual retreat. But I, I want you to have a notebook so you can jot some I down some ideas. And also you're going to need a piece of paper where you've got your um, morning and evening routine written down. Now don't worry about that. If you've already worked on your routines, you, you've hopefully got a sheet of paper in your control journal. If you haven't done the control journal yet, you know, there's you, you can do it any time you like it. It doesn't take more than five or ten minutes to put it together. I'll put a link up there, in, uh, but I did it as one of the days of the 31 baby steps. And I think it was something like days 11 and 18, we worked on a control journal. And all it is is just putting a few small... Um, sheets of paper together and getting our ideas down onto paper and that helps us to, to implement things. So anyway, you're going to need, for, for, for a little retreat, you're going to need a notebook, uh, you know, or just a, a folder, some sheets of paper, whatever you've got, a place where you can write down your morning and evening routine and don't worry about it, I'll, I'll guide you through. Um, also, if you can get hold of a timer, you, and please don't go out buying one, but you know, maybe have um, an egg timer in the kitchen, or um, you know, you know, the fly lady one. You just just use whatever you've got. You can, of course, use the timer on your phone or on the top of the stove. But uh, you know the physical timer is really good. So so see if you can pack one of those into your bag for our little retreat. And the main thing that you're going to need for next week, which uh, or for a retreat, because you can, I don't know when you're going to be starting this or watching this video. Uh, this is the month of July. Uh, this is when I'm making it. You can use this retreat anytime that you like to get restarted, get back on board, whatever you want to call it, a, a restart. Uh, the other thing that you're, I hope you will pack for yourself, and I'm going to show you it now, is a pamper basket. Now just hold on, let me let me grab mine. Now there was a really good comment, um, I think it was yesterday, on the video that I made talking about, you know, we're going to be looking after ourselves for, you know, at least 15 minutes every day. That's going to be our focus for the retreat. And somebody said they were really looking forward to getting some ideas of what to do because they didn't know how to pamper themselves. And that is a fantastic comment because I was just the same um, before, you know, before I started the Fly Lady system, I'd kind of lost my way. I didn't know really what I enjoyed anymore. I was just kind of, you know, in survival mode, going from one thing to the next. And, you know, at, um, before Fly Lady, I was, uh, you know, I had a great job. I was working like 50 hours a week and, you know, having fun and whatever but just kind of in survival mode. And then, you know, you add a couple of small kids and things get, you know, even more complicated. And you really do forget what makes you happy because, you know, we're, we're fighting fires or we're, we're looking after everybody else. And when I was listening to one of the Fly Ladies radio shows, 
and this is a long time ago, there was somebody talking about um, not being, or, or about being the mum who eats the burnt toast. And I'm just wondering, have you been like that? Because I have been there many times, you know, making, like literally making toast for the family and the worst slices were the ones that I took. And we really have to, you know, stop that attitude. And, you know, it's, you know, of course we have to make good food uh, and uh, make sure everybody's fed, but you have not to be the one who's eating like the worst, you know, you, you've not to be the last in line. And I've said it before, but you know, with all the fly lady, um, you know, we have this habit of the month, you know, it's swish and swipe or it's making your bed. And when we got to the month of December, I could never understand what was the point of the pampering looking after ourselves for 15 minutes. I just thought, well, you know, I need to be organizing things. I need to be cleaning stuff. And I didn't get the bit about the pampering or self care, whatever you want to call it. And boy, oh boy, when I actually finally caved in and said, ah, okay, you know, the shoes had worked and swish and swipe had worked and, you know, all these things that we kind of resist and, like, ah. and it was when I finally got on board with the pampering, I mean, really concentrated on it. And it was, I mean, it's difficult because, you know, we're, we're, we think, oh, we should be putting on another load of laundry. And, but if we just take the time for ourselves, it really changes everything up. It, it really puts the smile back on our faces and we, uh, we relearn what we like and what we don't like. Um, and that was a huge change for me because, you know, in the past, uh, when I used to go on vacation on holiday, I would pack my uh, suitcase and I'd have about <laughs> 10 books in there. You know, that was the main thing I had and I would read 10 books during the holidays. But then, you know, once I had kids and whatever, I, I stopped reading. I just thought, oh, I don't have time for that. And, you know, thanks to focusing on just doing a little bit for myself, I, you know, started reading again. And, you know, I'm not talking about reading something that's really, really difficult. I, you know, I was just reading books, magazines, cookbooks, but it just kind of got me into that mindset of, you know what, you can actually sit sit for five, 10 minutes and go to a completely different world for, you know, for 15 minutes and it really recharges the battery. So I really want to encourage you to, to try this. And you know, what what one of the ways to, to do it, to find out what you like or what you don't like is we're putting together this um, pamper basket. Now I've got a basket, I've shown you this before because I think it was in one of the fly ladies baby steps. There, there's probably a day where we're talking about pampering. I think it was towards the end of it. Um, but I'll go through again what I've got in my And remember you don't need a little basket. This was a basket. I can't even remember what this was. This was a gift basket that I received for something I think. Um, but you've probably got a basket. Maybe you've got um, an old handbag, an old tote bag. Um, you know, maybe if you look in the garden shed, you know, you've probably got an old plastic uh, box that you're not using, you know, give that a wash out. Just something, you know, a bag, a box, uh, a basket, whatever you've got. And during the next couple of days before we start the retreat, I want you to go around the house and find anything that um, you could use as a pamper. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you what I've got in mind to give you some ideas, but you know, you may be completely different from me and your ideas are completely different and that's great. And if anybody has other ideas, put them in the comments so we can encourage each other because that's what we're doing here. I'm, I'm not here to uh, show my life and whatever. I'm here to encourage you to use the fly lady system because it's worked for me and it, it can work for anybody. So just remember, I'm your cheerleader here. Should have had my pom-poms with me this morning. Anyway. Um, in my little pamper basket and, and this basket I keep it in the living room and it's beside my favorite reading chair so when I'm taking a break I sit down I put my feet up and I just you know if I don't know what to do I look in my pamper basket and I can find something to do so what I have is um, I keep some magazines in here like you know I'm sure you've got some Sudoku's or 
crossword puzzle, something that you've taken out of the newspaper. Um, so that, that's an idea if you've got, you know, word searches, something like that. Keep those in there. I've also got, um, I really don't buy many magazines. I get them from the library. <laughs> These days I'm too cheap to actually buy magazines because, you know, I can read them in half an hour. But anyway, I got this one cheap in a Swedish supermarket and I'm, um, I speak a bit of Swedish and I find it's a really easy way to learn Swedish is just to read magazines. Anyway, I got this one cheap. So I've got a magazine in here that I can just kind of flick through. I've got some books uh, that I'm reading. I've also got a catalogue of, um, it's a holiday catalogue of really nice places to stay in Nice, France. And that's just a kind of daydream thing. I look at these lovely apartments and uh, Nice is one of my favourite places in the world. And we, we go there often on vacation. So I just like to ah, dream myself back to a balcony in Nice somewhere, drinking a glass of uh, rosé. Um, that's just a bit of daydreaming and probably you've got some stashes of you know free samples that you've got from uh, you know the department store or that you found in a, a magazine you know hand cream face cream put those in your pamper basket that way you can sit down and just you know use five minutes put some hand cream on or whatever or try a new perfume uh, also if you've had you know you've maybe got some cream left over uh, that you got for Christmas and haven't really been using it, you know, put that in your pamper basket. I've got a pair of uh, fluffy Scottish slippers in case my tootsies are cold. Um, I've also got some um, pencils and uh, drawing pencils. Maybe you're into mandalas or, you know, the colouring, the mindfulness colouring books, you know, the grown-up colouring. You know, just whatever floats your boat. Uh, I've also got a little sleep mask because, you know, you can just set your timer. Remember I said use a timer. Um, set your timer for 15 minutes and close your eyes, but make sure you set your timer before you have a nap in the afternoon because we, we don't want anybody sleeping for like two hours. That's not the point. Um, oh yeah, uh, make sure that you have maybe some of your favourite snacks don't have to be healthy you know where we're treating ourselves um, so you know whatever whatever you like I'm not really into Oreo chocolate but you know when I'm in a pinch I will eat any kind of chocolate um, and also oh yeah I've got a little um, bottle of um, it's not it's not for drinking it's a little bottle of perfume so I like to I'm just gonna splash in a wee bit just now there we are hmm smell of summer I've been using this for about oh, 30 years and just the smell of it makes me think of the summer. Anyway, you have a look around your house, see what you've got that you can put in your little pamper basket. Maybe you've got some, uh, you know, a nail file and some nail varnish that you've never used. Put that in your basket. Um, anyway, if you've got any ideas, put them in the comments so that we can all benefit from that. And that way you're going to be ready. Oh, and the other thing is, you know, if you've got some, you know, favourite snacks, you also may want to put in, if you've got like a favourite um, carton of drink or something like that, put that in there so that you are, you have no excuse. Just think of it like being, say you were going to the beach. You see, I've got my, um, my swimming bag. I was down for my swim in the sea this morning. You can maybe see there's my Doctor Who TARDIS towel behind drying off. Uh, think of it as if you're kind of packing for a day for the beach. What would you like to do when you're just sitting there, when you've got nothing else on your mind that, you know, you can finally put your feet up, just listen to the sea and, you know, maybe do some, I don't know, knitting, crochet, whatever it is. Anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to stop there because I've been talking now for, yeah, almost uh, 14 minutes. Join us for the little retreat. Um, what, what it's going to be is we're going to be focusing on our routines. We are going to be doing a mission every day. So if you haven't done any of the missions yet, this is a good time to kind of jump in and try one of those. And then we are going to reward ourselves by doing a little pamper. All right. And then I, we'll, we'll, we'll have some little games going. Uh, anyway, so, so that was it about the, the retreat. And I've been rambling on today, but I'm kind of quite excited because it's uh, good weather and it's Friday. Uh, and it is Friday, so a few reminders about that. Friday is clean out your purse day, uh, clean out your handbag. You know, um, I'm just about to go through my um, swimming bag. 
um, you know, if you've got any receipts in there, you know, if you've been out shopping this week, get the receipts out of their old uh, snotty hankies. I've got a few of those in there because I've been a bit jet lagged and I've got um, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of pollens which affects my hay fever, so I need to get those out of my, my bag. Um, and fill up your car with uh, petrol or gas and while you're filling up the car make sure just to you know while it's filling up take a check see if there's any rubbish in there any trash get that out and the other thing is it's uh, date night do something nice for you and your significant other or for your husband or for both of them haha <laughs> and uh, if you don't have a significant other or husband uh, <laughs> lucky you uh, do something nice for yourself or for the family. Uh, we, we don't do date night as such um, because uh, that's just the way we are. We, we enjoy staying at home. So I like to have um, my husband's favourite snacks and uh, the kids' favourite sweets and candy. So that's what we are doing. So anyway, I'm going to stop it here because it is Friday and everybody wants to get on with the weekend. Uh, but that was uh, for me, uh, Diane in Denmark. I really have to watch because I keep on wanting to say Fly Lady Diane. I'm no longer Fly Lady Diane. I used to be uh, one of the uh, mentors at Fly Lady Premium. I've stopped working uh, with Fly Lady Premium now, but I'm still here doing the videos because I, I, I just want to encourage you. To, I'm here to be your cheerleader and show you that, you know, if I can do this, I'm still a work in progress. You can do it too. All, all we're doing is just putting one foot in front of the other. That's all we're doing. We're just moving slowly ahead and uh, hopefully uh, for a little retreat we're going to have some fun right that's it for me time to oh and another thing make sure maybe you pack your sunglasses because it's going to be really hot and sunny where we are going it's going to be fantastic anyway that's it for me see you very soon live long and prosper and uh, that was it ciao for the now